This is the Obra Bus, the Polaris Ranger, six-wheel drive, one of the most capable off-road vehicles available in its size class. Under the hood, we have the expected steering motor. The silver box is a set of relays, which are part of the emergency stop system. There's also a stall timer in there. We, there are the two red buttons required for emergency stop purposes by DARPA. Shifting is motorized, of course, as is steering and is and brake. The throttle actuator isn't shown, but it's under the seat. In the back bed is all the electronics. The Wi-Fi unit shown is temporary, a held with Ultra that comes out for the real event. The open held GPS is visible on the right, the computers are in the black box, and power conversion equipment is in a large box with the tail fins. Inside the computer box we have a Pentium 4 biscuit computer, um, some USB stuff, some Ethernet hubs, and the inertial guidance unit, which is the crossbow attitude and heading reference system. Powering all this is a rather oversized 3 kilowatt generator. This is our primary sensor, the stick laser rangefinder. This is the LMS 221 model, the ruggedized version. And it's mounted on a custom built tilt head so that we can get true 3D images if we need them. Here's a 3D image taken at the laser rangefinder tilt on the bench. On the vehicle, we probably won't get as clean an image. But we have the option to do dynamic stabilization. Here's our driving control system. This is all new. We're playing back a previous run here, and we can see how well we did and what went wrong. Here's a field test of the Overbot. Here we're testing a case of caught Team Dad being able to move over an obstacle from a dead stop. There's our practice tank trap. But we should provide one unbroken session of it following waypoints. The waypoints have that precisely positioned. We set them out with a handheld GPS. It pretty much takes the same path every time. In fact, it's been flattening our little marker cones. No, the required strobe lights, the required brake lights. Slow down for the turn here. And here we are returning to our starting position. We like to drive it around a closed course so that we can just start it up again and run it round and round. Here we are watching it, but as you can see, we're not driving it. That it does just fine all by itself. And it's about to reach the end of the course here. And it stops. So that's it. We look forward to seeing DARPA's people for the site visit. Thank you.